So today guys we've come down to a little place in West Kirby and uh, got some islands out in the sea. You can walk out to them at low tide so that's what we've come here to do. Tide's going out, it's very windy so you might get some wind noise on the camera. Uh, it's going to be great, £3.50 to park for the day, that's all it's cost me so why not go for the good, good old walk? I want to see if there's any uh, life on the actual islands. Here we go. Bit windy so i've got this one on me today as you see those two there that's two of the islands there's another one over there somewhere we're going to walk out to them it's low tide this is what it looks like So there we are guys, we've made it over to the actual island. I don't know how this audio is going to sound because I've literally got my hands-free kit with a little dead rat on the end of it. And it seems to be working, I think. But we're on the island. Now I've had a good old walk around already, we've not found much, but there's loads of signs and loads of different animals over here. So it's obvious that animals do inhabit these islands. It's an amazing island. It can only be accessible on low tide, which is absolutely awesome. It means you've actually got a good trek to get out here. It took us 45 minutes to get out here from shore, but we had the kids with us as well. So I highly recommend you all doing it. Anyway, it's um, off the banks of Hoy Lake, I think it is, over on the Wirral somewhere. We parked on a little side street, £3.50 to park for the day and we waited for low tide and shot out on low tide. Now we've got about 45 minutes until low tide comes and that's when uh, we've got to start making our way back because we don't want to get cut off on this island. However, anyone want to do a 24 hour challenge camping on an island like this? Hint, hint, hit me up in the comment section below if you want to come out here. It's absolutely amazing. Now we're trying to find some seals. Uh, I, I've not found anything yet, but we're still trying to find them. I'm going to run over and speak to the lifeguards because you've got the RN, RNLI, the uh, Lifeguard Association down here, just protecting us, telling us where we've got to get off the island ready for uh, the tide coming back and all that sort of stuff. We're going to take some photos of some bird life and stuff, but it's absolutely awful to sit here and actually get some footage where I can sit and talk to you. So I'm probably going to montage the rest of it or something like that. But hey, if you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be doing a few more little herping videos and stuff like that. I came here hoping to find like rabbits and stuff like that on the actual islands. And it's changed slightly to all the rock pools and looking for crabs and seals and bird life and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, let's carry on walking. We did find an awful lot of these mussel shells all clammed up together. They were absolutely beautiful. And some of the rock faces, and oh God, it's just absolutely beautiful, this place. There is loads of bird life just sitting around us, drifting in the updrafts. How amazing are they? Oh, guys, guys, I've found a seal. There's a seal out there. It's really poor quality video. It really is poor quality video. I can't catch it on camera. But, mate, I've just seen a wild seal poking its head out. Oh, there it is again. There it is again. Can you see it? Can you see it? Wow, let's keep moving on. Absolutely tons of bird life just flocking around. It was absolutely stunning. So it's dead windy, as you can hear. We've come up to the highest point of the whole place. Check this out, full 360 view. How awesome is that? I'm back again. Let's keep looking around. 
Massive high five to uh, JTB Reptiles for putting me onto this location, mate. High five. Green flag breakdown cover sign on an abandoned island in the middle of the sea. Random. See those little black and white birds? Apparently they're quite rare to hear. They're called mucker birds or something like that. I don't know, but there's loads of them around. One of the peaks just off the uh, far corner of the island, a full 180 degree view. But we also noticed here the tide's starting to come in. We better move. So guys, I found a massive school of um, seals. Now I'm going to try to zoom in, but I'm not sure if I'll get it or not. But here we go. And I don't know if it'll focus, but on the corner you can see all the black darts. Let's zoom in a bit more. Now let's see if it'll focus. That's about the best I've got on camera. But out there, hundreds and hundreds of seals. How amazing are they? There is absolutely hundreds of seals out there. I wish I could have got better footage of them, but I just can't. It's too windy, the camera's getting blown just a minute amount, and it's shaking, adding vibration. I'll try and get some pictures and put it over the screen now. But apart from that, we're heading back down the hill into the center to check the tide times and see when the tide is actually gonna start coming back in. So we're done on the island. We've got to walk out all the way to that little spot just there. Take about an hour. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Bye bye island. Remember guys, if you want a 24 hour challenge camping out on the island, hit me up in the comments below.